Hey you, this is Jashim from Codeband and in this video we are going to be showing you how to automate a regular task that we are doing manually in Instagram. So uh, it's a very simple and you know very easy to do task. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So what I have created is I have created a new SRC folder, and inside that I have a main.py file. Then the the, the first thing uh, to you have to download is you know Python itself. So uh, if you haven't already installed Python, please go to this link, which I'll put in the description section, and download Python in here from here. Okay. So after installing Python, the next thing you have to you know install is Selenium, which is a package that you know uh, that is responsible for this web automation. And in order to install you know Selenium, what you have to do is you know come back here in your uh, terminal. You could uh, get the terminal from here in PyCharm. By the way, I'm using PyCharm as my IDE. You could use any editors like VS Code or Spider or something like that. What you have to do is you know get the terminal here, and you can do just a pip install Selenium. And by the way, if you are not familiar with Python, I have a Python tutorial playlist for beginners, which I will put the uh, link in the description section so you can watch that. And uh, here I'll just do pip install Selenium and press enter. And since I have already installed it, it will show like this recommend already satisfied. And in, in your case, it will just install. And after that, I need one more, you know, package that is uh, the web driver manager, uh, which is required so that you know it supports you know multiple browsers and all. Pip install web driver manager hyphen manager. And if I do that, you know, again, it is a requirement already satisfied in my system since I have already downloaded it. In your case, it will install it. So with that being said, now what you have to do is, you know, in the main.py, you need to import uh, from webdrivermanager.com, import Chrome driver manager. Here I'm using a Chrome as my browser. If you are using Firefox, then the, the, the method, the initial method will be different. So you could refer Google and all those stuff if you're using Firefox. So here in this case, you know, the, the second import is from Selenium, import web driver. And what I'm doing is, you know, creating a driver variable or, or you could say a browser variable, uh, anything like that, and is equal to uh, web driver dot Chrome. I'm using Chrome, by the way. And uh, here in, we could simply say, you know, the web, uh, uh, sorry, the Chrome driver manager from driver manager dot install okay which will install that you know the dependency required for the uh, chrome browser so with that being said the next step the very basic step uh, step is you know driver dot get and the url itself the url is in you know, of course it's like https uh, instagram dot com this is our url and uh, uh, if I do say now, uh, you know, if I do run my uh, script by, by using python main.py and here main.py is my file name and if I do run this stuff, then you could see a browser pops out and, you know, uh, it'll be automatically going to that instagram.com site. So this is the very basic thing that you should understand and from here on what we are going to be doing is we are just, you know, uh, inputting the username and password and clicking the login button and which will you know logs in uh, into the Instagram so that will be uh, doing here so uh, what you can possibly do is you know the first of all we have to fetch you know this username field here so you just right click here and click on inspect and come back here in the inspect again I do inspect again then we'll get this input here and what you can possibly do is you know right click here copy and uh, copy xpath this stuff here and you just click on that and you come you know here in the script and what you can possibly do is you know we are fetching that username field 
so I'll just say username field is equal to driver dot find element by xpath and you can just copy and paste you know the, the xpath that you have just copied and uh, in order to send that username you, you can say username field dot send keys and here you can type in your username your Instagram username by the way and uh, the next thing we have to do is you know fetch the password field by right clicking and click on inspect and you get the password input field right click copy and copy xpath here and you could possibly say password field uh, is equal to driver dot find element by xpath and you just provide that xpath that password path now you could possibly do is password field dot send keys you know you, you could possibly do uh, send your password here your password okay so uh, that's the case with username and password now the next thing you have to do is you know clicking the login button which i could inspect by right clicking it and clicking on this inspect here and in this division you know if we expand this by clicking here then you could see the button okay the button responsible for that submit okay action so you could possibly you know uh, right click on this stuff copy and copy xpath and come back here let me say it as login btn is equal to driver dot find element by xpath you just paste in that xpath and you can just say login button dot click okay which will click you know that button so this is all you need to uh, want in order to you know let's you login in automatically and uh, one thing to note is that you know we have to you know import the, the time module here time so that you know after loading the instagram.com site we just do a time dot sleep of two seconds and this is because you know instagram uses you know javascript uh, technologies like react so uh, you need to wait a little bit of time because you know otherwise you know this elements would not be loaded so that you know this will fail this code will fail it will fail to find you know this um, you know x path so you just give a little bit of time here uh, that is a sleep of two seconds so that you know it will post the execution here and uh, i'll also provide you know this uh, the sleep here also time dot sleep i'll give you here one second so that it finds the login you know uh, if at all it, it doesn't load you know that this one second would uh, suffice to load this stuff that being said if i do run python main dot py then i could see you know my browser prop pops out and it will go to instagram.com and um you could see it will you know uh, autofill these steps and click the login button but you know it, it says the username you entered doesn't belong to an account which means you know yeah i have just provided you know the, the username i haven't provided that yet so i'll, I'll do that now uh, my instagram username and my password i have already set my password in the in the path so i could just say os.enron.get uh, I'll say insta pass now I uh, just import OS here and you don't have to say all those stuff here because you know you can just directly do your uh, password here uh, write your password here I'll just uh, you know do in this way and if I do you know run the server on the script again uh, I should see that I will be automatically logged in to the Instagram uh, let me you know my internet connection is a bit slow here so i could see like yeah it auto fills those steps those username and password and clicks the login button and boom everything is perfect i just logged into the uh, instagram profile so that's all about this video and this is a very basic thing in web automation that you have achieved so far so with this knowledge you know if you boost some other uh, some you know some knowledge from you know from the documentation and all then you could do a whole lot of things uh, by this one you could you could track for example by you could track amazon prices you know for products then uh, you could do the Instagram boards and all uh, for auto liking and all those stuff but before uh, you're doing that you just uh, look into the Instagram policies you know they have uh, you know some blocking feature and also you just look into that then we could you know uh, uh, let's uh, make a script of you know uh, that just do the form filling automation 
then you can do LinkedIn, you know, messaging system and all. You could do a whole bunch of things with this automation. So uh, that's all about the video. And if you have any doubts, you know, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.